think with this Congress woman of fast recovery. And we know it's God. We know there's power in God. And it wasn't long before he came, cried and said, I'm healed. I'm being set free. I have, now I can breathe. You don't know what it is to walk and breathe or not be able to until you go through a situation like that. So next time you exercise, thank God that you can exercise. Next time you jog, thank God that you can jog. The next time you go to Paris, thank God that you can be there. Because there's people there. But see, God is saying, God can help us. And I know that sometimes we are confronted with a, with, with a mountain, a problem, a situation, either physical, material, problem. But listen, I'm here to tell you that my God is able. Amen. You know, my God opened the Red Sea. My God worked with miracles in the past, and he still works with miracles today. Amen. You know what I, what I, you know how I look at it? You know what I feel? Uh, I feel that God enjoys making miracles because he's the only one that can do things. So when we come to him, we say, God, I have this need. Come, I'm going to help you. Deliverance from darkness, verse 7. For unclean spirits, crying with a loud voice, came out of many who were possessed, and many who were paralyzed and lame were healed. See, when the light comes, when the word comes, there's a, there's a confrontation between, between darkness and light. Uh, the light came into the world and darkness could not prevail against the light. And uh, when, when the light comes to your heart and you open your heart and you accept Christ and you make Christ the Lord of your life, Darkness cannot prevail against you, hallelujah, Amen. and against your life. And uh, salvation, and the joy that comes with salvation, is something first that has to do individually, personally. It's a, it's a personal decision, a personal relationship with God. If I could repent for you and be saved for you, I've done it a thousand times. But it has to be you, your own personal decision. You have to make that decision. Am, am I going to continue waiting? Am I going to continue in darkness? Am I going to continue the same way? Another year is going to go by and I'm going to be the same. I haven't really advanced in my spiritual life, or I'm gonna make a decision today that that's that's enough with the world. I'm gonna have a new beginning. I'm gonna give my life to Jesus, or maybe you have given your life to Jesus. But you will say in your heart, you say in your heart, I'm gonna really, really consecrate my life to God. There's a, there's a, a brother which, uh, which I love a lot. I know him for many years. And before the service, he came to me, he hugged me, he gave me a kiss. He says, I got the victory. I got the victory. And I could sense the genuine of his words. You know? So, it's something either getting saved for the first time, giving your life to Jesus, changing, renouncing, a new beginning, or it can be in your walk. And it comes a time in your walk when you need to be renewed by the power of God. And thank God that God is always there for us when, whenever we want it, the time comes, and we say, here I am, God, and God says, okay, I'm going to give you the desires of the heart. The Bible says that unclean spirits came out of these people uh, uh, crying with a loud voice because the people was possessed by the spirit. And when, when that cleansing took place in the soul, then it went over to the body, paralyzed, lame, and now the disease were healed by the power of God. I am the God that healed thee. Yeah. And there's 
life, our body, we know that we trust in God, and God will help us in all things. The joy of salvation. Verse 8 says, And there was great joy in the city. Uh, let me read a portion that, 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 uh, that is written here that I put here. When salvation comes to a life of a person, a family, or a city, there's a wonderful expression of joy. Salvation is joy. Salvation is a joyful experience. Being set free from a life of oppression to a life of freedom. Follow me. From darkness to light. From condemnation to redemption. From hate to love. From sorrow to joy. This is salvation. It's a change. It's a time of, of, uh, of joy. So now that we have uh, uh, salvation, we rejoice in the Lord. Rejoice in the Lord always and again. I say rejoice. Now we may have problems. We may have tribulations. But in all things, we are more than conquerors by the power of Jesus Christ. So be a person with a smile, with a happy face. Let the joy that is inside your heart flow out and radiate in your appearance, in your, in your life. Uh, God desires that uh, we let the uh, joy of salvation flow in our life. The Bible says that there's a joy in heaven when a sinner comes to repentance. There's more joy when a sinner comes to repentance than the 99 that need not to be, that don't need salvation. So when salvation, when someone receives Christ, when someone accepts Christ, the angels in heaven rejoice and make a big celebration because there's a new soul that was saved. When the prodigal son returned, the father said, let us rejoice because my son was lost and his found, was dead, and now is alive. Genuine repentance. Let me take you to genuine repentance that we find in the book of Acts chapter 19. And I'm going to take you to another city with a big mighty revival which is the city of Ephesus. And the Bible says in the city of Ephesus that uh, at, at, at Acts chapter 19 <coughs> verse 18 many who had believed came confessing and telling their deeds. Also many of those who had practiced magic brought their books together and burned them in the sight of all and they counted 